Hello guys, welcome to my real still video. This is Sahagan speaking. I hope to be just showing you some day some uh, information and some designs of the robots I'm currently using. Please bear in mind though that I haven't been playing this for a while, so my mo my robots are not finished products, but I'm enjoying them as they are now, and I hope this gives people some help anyway if you can. Anyway, let's get on. Uh, okay, no, I don't want to sign just yet. Okay, uh, okay, let's get started. All right, now first assembly. My I basically in this game of my personal use I have three main bots at the moment. First is Ronan, who you probably know from my previous videos. Second would be Saracen, the one you can see in the background. And the third is the one I recently created, or at least recently redesigned in the scale of the 2. You can also see Vikid, which is my brother's former robot. He used to play on his account, and now he plays on his own account. And then these two ones are basically, if I fight somebody whose TBR is too low, you know, give them a chance or whatever. Or as a test dummy. Anyhow, let's start with Ronan. Alright, basically Ronald was my original design. You saw it, the previous, the, the old version of it, fighting Zeus and Abel. That old version was very light, very fast, but it lacked power. It had good energy. Now this is basically the upgrade that you've seen in the video. It's much stronger. It's pretty much retained most of its speed and energy overall, I'd say. Out of all my three main ones, it's definitely the fastest. I've brought, I mean, to look at the parts, at the top I've got my Tetra Head level 5. Now, just to let you know, I do have many DLC items, that's correct, but I also have unlocked many of them as well. So, it really does depend. I mean, I have put a lot of effort into this. I've got almost all my stats to 99 except speed and offense, and they're still, you know, pretty much there even. Now, people are wondering, personally, in my opinion, if someone asked me what head are they going to use in this game, I'd say Gargan head. As you can see now, as I'm holding indicator over it, it's also, I mean, every single way almost better than Tetra head, that one I'm using. You look at my TBR, it's going to 9999. And you may be wondering, dude, why don't you just use it then? The only answer is, I do understand it's worth, but just for at least for Ronin, I think it just looks so beautiful with this Tetra head, and I don't want to change, I'm sorry. I, I think intimidation is something important, and when you see that face and those eyes staring at you, yeah. Best run? Anyway, now, buddy, hmm, now this was an interesting one. On the previous version of Ronin, if you remember, I had an Ergo buddy. Now, you can see the difference in size already. Now, I don't really know if height plays much of a factor, I'm not sure, in this game. I'd say, though, this Ergo body was good, but... Uh, I don't know, less HP, less durability, less and more defense, less power, I don't know. I like Tagma, I wanted to do something different as well, I wanted to redesign running, so... Yeah, I went with Tagma, I thought it was a strange but interesting story, so it's probably one of the best overall. Arms. Now, this is something I'm almost always consistent with. I don't care what people say. In my personal opinion, the best arms in this game by far are Gargan. Whether I'm looking in my inventory or looking in the shop, it's Gargan all the way for me personally. I don't, I don't know if I've hardly seen anyone use alternative arms as successfully, I think. I mean, look at this. With these arms, 10 French speed. Ultra Tech, everything goes down, and I'm still in the 9,000. I mean, for some reason, if you actually look, it says I've got a better battle rating with my Ultra Tech arm, and yet all my stats are lower. I don't understand some of these things in this game. Anyhow, maybe one of you guys can explain it to me. Nah, you see what I mean. The odd thing here is better than the other arms, but overall, Gargan is definitely the one for me. Now, same with the left arm, obviously. Now, this. Now, this is a very important point, because I've had many comments about this, and I'm telling you, there is a particular reason why I'm using Spine Fist, and what probably many people do. People seem to overlook the fact that it's not just about punching power. Each fist has a different variety of style. Now, if you look carefully, in the bottom left hand corner, as I stick this indicator over my spine fist 5, you see it says standard type B. Now that doesn't, you know, that's not just a name. That's actually referring to the way it hits and attacks and the way it moves. Now, I've chosen standard type B because personally for me, the fighting style suits what I like. It's, it's a medium to high speed, I would say. It's got an excellent rage. It's got the best body attack in my opinion in the whole game. I mean, if you look at a uh, bear glove, which you'll see on Galvatron 2, it's got a very similar light attack, but when it comes to the body attack, there are two different kinds of gloves. Also, there are Mega Gloves, as you, uh, Mega Fist, as you might know. They're way more powerful, obviously, than Spine Fist, even at level 5. But, these are Mega Fist, even the level 5 version, have a different fighting style to Spine Fist. Spine Fist, 
In my opinion, that Type B have the best body shot, straight range. Omega Fists have a great range, obviously, as well, but they're slightly slower and they attack differently. Um, you'll see, maybe if you see to my videos, what I'm talking about. Anyway, on to legs. Now, legs is an interesting one. Legs, I don't know. It's, I mean, I wanted good movement, good mobility. Uh, I mean, different. Let's see what else. I mean, it was Shogun, but nothing really else really stood out as much. I mean, I look at some of the DLC legs, and I overall thought this would be the best. I mean, they're not very chunky. They're good mobility, good defense overall. I'm, I'm happy with them. I've seen some very strange ones, to be honest, and uh, I don't know. I can't really say what's best. Now, I've always gone for power, pretty much, when it's come to my generator. So let's skip that. But, oh, yeah, power. Just to show you, are you strong P80? Now, for motherboard, uh, I'm not sure. Ronin, like I said, is not complete, obviously, and I haven't fully upgraded all my stats, and I'm on the way. So as I unlock more, I might change it. But for now, I've gone... Because some of my other items decreased my energy, I've chosen Lithium Transistor, which is DLC, to increase my energy. I did consider trying one of the other ones that increases my strength, but at the cost of my power charge, I wasn't sure because it was already quite low, to be fair. 2478, it's not the highest, but Ronan hasn't really let me down. He's done a great job, I'm, and I'm very, I'm very happy with him. Now, I had you through. This is what I was thinking of going with. I was thinking of going with Sinatol Plus, but the problem is that, look. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I would do it, but look at my damage recovery from 7 to 5. Now, if damage recovery, if I remember correctly, is when I get hit or when I get knocked on the ground and I'm trying to get back up, then I don't want that to go any lower, because that's hard enough as it is. Anyway, profile. Ronan, his name. Someone who is not with the crowd, is by himself, is happy with that, he serves no one. Pre match, I'm not really a preposterous guy, you know, I, I don't mind. This is, Ronan is probably the. Like a like a projection of myself, you know. I I, I didn't want to do anything a bit arrogant too much, just for fun though. I mean, fighting style. Take a look. I thought this looked the coolest, as at least for his body shape and style. I mean, that looked okay. But for Ronan's, Ronan's not really a chunky guy. If you look at him, he's tall and thin. So, you know, give him some. I mean, nah, maybe either probably one or four. I went for four because it's uh yeah. Why not? Now for my tech moves. Body blow. <coughs> Many times I've tried getting rid of this move. I know it's one of the classic and original ones, but for some reason it just appeals to me. It just sometimes I find it great when you just have your opponent on the run or something and they're about to attack you and you hit them one of these and you catch them off guard, two hits from you know, do some massive damage we're talking about. Uh, Temple. This is a new one I've actually just tried because I've decided I've decided I used normally I go for knockouts more than, you know, strong parts, but I thought to mix it up, I'd add this in as well, since people use it on me, I thought, interesting. Now, this is one of my classic moves. Yeah. You just, it's the range of the things, just beautiful, and it's unblockable. They really got to keep an eye on what you're doing and trying to get caught other that. Heavy uppercut. This is a nice mix up, I thought, as well. I mean, people, they see you coming forward, and then they expect you to probably, you know, be attacking low since you're ducking, but instead you come up and hit them, chest, maybe face, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. And then taunts. Yeah, come closer. Let's. Yeah. yeah, this is my personal favorite one. And then, oh yeah. Alright, well, let's move on then. Now we've seen Ronin. No, I mean, it's personally my favorite of my bots. Although it's not the most powerful, it's definitely the fastest, so, and it's got a great movement speed, and I look forward to using it more, and my favorite design. I'm very happy with it. Now, anyway, let's move on to one of my other ones. I tried to vary mine, by the way, slightly. Although they have similar parts somewhere, generally I've tried to make differences. Now, let's go on to my second uh, main bot, which is actually a uh, Saracen. Saracen, as you know, were Middle Eastern warriors and uh, very great swordsmen, great warriors. Now, if you look at Saracen, you'll know something. Forget the color, because I really haven't decided on the color yet. I'm just, if you look you, carefully, you'll notice that he actually has two different hands. Well, we'll come to that in a moment. Head. Gargan. As I said just before about Ronin, Gargan is a is an amazing head. I, the only other one that comes close is probably Ultra Tech. I mean, here we go. And then it's just a trade-off between damage recovery and defense and then life points and energy. So it depends on your person style. For me, Gargan was better than Ultra Tech, but I was close to changing my mind. Body. I wanted something that was big, chunky, and would give me good defense. Makeup. Now, to make it different from Ronin, so I'm happy with this. I think it does a good job. I mean, Ronin's a Tagma. Tagma's got less defense, more energy, and more power, but more less life points by 200, so I thought to mix it up, I tried this. Arms are Gargan as well. 
There's no point showing that. But fist. Now this is where it gets interesting. As I was telling you, on his left hand, you see he has spine fist level five, just like Ronin. So, yep. However, on his right hand, I've actually got an Omega fist level four. I haven't unlocked the level five yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. The reason why I've done this, rather than just making the same as Ronin, but just a little bit slower and a bit chunkier, I thought that I'd uh, I'd mix it up because I tried two Omega fists, but it was just not my style, too slow. Uh, I didn't know. I I, I didn't feel I didn't feel comfortable with it that much. But I thought. I wanted an Omega Fist though to mix it up. So now I'm testing this out with one of each and so far I've had good results and I look forward to playing some of you guys online maybe and seeing what happens. Legs once again using Tetra, cores, same as Ronin, yeah, it's very similar in the internal except I think I was using the Genital Premium, whereas here I'm using Duradol Plus. Uh, should I change it? I, I mean I yeah. It had to do for now until I find something better. Yeah. Shadow boxing, fighting pose. Ronan's all about fighting, man. He's a he's a great warrior compared to. I mean, Ronan's a great light, but but in a fist fight, Ronan has the disadvantage. Uh, Saracen here can take a much heavier hit and give a heavier punch. If you saw in the video I made about Ronan versus Saracen, you had to see I had to play very quickly as Ronan to keep up with Saracen. The brain check one. Anyway, now on to my newest. Robot. Now this one is a bit different because like I said I like fast robots generally with a good doubt damage. Now Galvatron is an experimental one for me as well. Galvatron 2 because I can't make it Galvatron 1 because it doesn't look enough like it. As you see I tried to give it that fusion cannon weapon that Galvatron has but at least anyway. You're wondering why it's white and not grey? If you remember in the original cartoons they had like white hands instead of you know grey. I don't know. I think it looks nice. I'm happy with it. Now head. Gargan. Body. One of the other Tetra is a great body. I look. It's it's very hard sometimes when you're choosing a body. You got to think of the trailer. I decided since I already have Ultra Tech and I, I already have Tag Mod and I've seen Ergo before and it's not bad but not for me right now. I thought I'd try Ultra, uh, Tetra out. I've seen it. If you see it on the DLC boss uh, Paladis, the last DLC boss, the most recent one, the brown one, you'll see. He's using Tetra, so uh, I think it's pretty good. I'm so happy. I'm happy with it. For it's good defense. It's better, not bad overall. Look at my arms, the Gargan, of course. Now, fists. Now, remember what I said. If you remember, spine fists, if I go down to them, are standard type B. Now, bare fists are standard type A. However, I think there's a glitch in this game because generally, whether you use a right fist or a left fist, they're always the same. So, a mega fist on your right hand is the same as a mega fist on your left hand. Same fighting style. For some reason, the bare fists seem to have an error in them. Whereas, one fist attacks, I think it's the right fist, the bare fist attacks like a, a standard type, you know? Except uh, it's different to spine fist in that the body blows are different. But the left hand side fist of the bear fist does a hammer type attack, which is very awkward because normally you know you have two fists, you have the same fist on either hand, but they're doing different attacks, which is not normal. And uh, yeah, now I, I decided to go for something a bit heavier here, more durable than uh, Tetra legs. Uh, I mean, yeah. <sighs> It's not as fast moving, but well, it's got more mobility. It's got less movement speed, so I can probably dodge better, maybe. But I can't move as fast. So I don't mind because I have good armor here and I have a massive attack. If you notice, those bear fists have given me check again five thousand five hundred twenty-eight. That's the closest I've had to Zeus so far, I think. Now my core strongman. Look again. I like these ones. Lithium senator. Yeah. Uh. I was thinking just before I made this video if I should switch this over to Senator and grab one of these. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's basically, I'm trading 100 attack for, for about 100 power. Uh, I mean, my PBR seems to suggest I should. I'm not sure. I don't know. And then, you know, Galvatron. I thought, since I'm making it like a character, you know, rejection of Galvatron, I want to have something a bit, a bit nasty or next, and then a uh, Tyrant Hook. Good name to it. Ah, uh, since it's Galvatron, when you go play dirt, you know, so a bit of footy footy will be interesting, man. Eh? This is a great move, actually. My friend and me had like had a match one time. We were just trying to, for a while, just trying to throw each other's foot, and it's pretty crazy. Anyway, yeah, as usual, like I said, great move. Check people out. Good dodge, but careful with your timing if you use an elbow smash. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm running out of time in the video, so I just want to say thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me. I am happy to help. But remember. Don't aim just to be like me, aim for better. Because even my robots are not complete. I've seen myself, my own eyes. Very powerful ones. 6,000 strength. 
I mean, it's crazy. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Take care. This is Sahaz. I look forward to seeing you guys online for time. Peace out.